Hey guys, Henning and Morton from Flip Normals, and today we're doing a substance painter video. Um, for change, is actually me doing a substance painter video because uh, I've taken, I finally taken some time and actually gotten into substance painter. Your so first substance painter video. It is actually. Oh, I'm losing my substance virginity here. <laughs> I think. I think it is my first. Yeah, I think it is. It is. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you uh, want to be notified about future videos we have coming up. So in this video, we are going to be looking at how to detail your fabrics inside of Substance Painter. Uh, we are going to be using one of the fabrics that we have in the Flip Normals fabrics, but I mean, this can be done with any kind of fabrics. If you want to buy ours, great. Um, if you have something on your own, something you made in Substance Design or something, that will also work in here. So uh, first thing is we just have this piece of fabric and we're just going to import a normal map. So we'll just import that as a texture into the current session. Import it. So... Uh, we're just going to be sticking to what we usually do, which is fill layers, because fill layers are mostly superior for this stuff. Such a good type of layer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's the best kind of layer. Um, color doesn't really matter that much. Make it something funky. <laughs> like reddish. <laughs> reddish. Um, and then we'll just do some roughness here as well. So, basic t-shirt, and then we have, um, then we're going to be, you know, then we're going to be layering some different kinds of details on here. And again, we'll do that with some fill layers. So first off, um, I think we showed this off in a trick recently. If you hold down the Alt button and click a channel, it just sort of like well, isolates that channel. That's the only thing you have to worry about now. Um, so we sort of keep that just within our layers palette there, because then we don't have to have it messy. And like, it's just nice to separate it out. At least I feel that way because it's more organized. I always separate out my, my different uh, attributes into different or into different channels, into different layers. Like, so my normal maps will be in one stack uh, of fill layers. My height will be in a different one, just because it's just a lot easier to deal with that way. And now we have this tiled out. There's one thing that we just need to change. Sometimes it depends on the normal map, how it's generated. For our fabrics, um, you change it from uh, auto, which is usually set to direct uh, 3D to OpenGL, that just changes the, the mode from going in to going out instead. It just flips a channel, some green channel probably. It's always a green channel, I feel like. So this is gonna be a first layer of detail. And this, like I said, can be done with any kind of fabrics. So the cool thing about Painter is then, then you can start layering stuff on top. So we'll create a, another fill layer, and this is gonna be a new kind of detail layer. So again, we'd only, we only want one channel, kind of like we did with a normal one, but this one is going to be height. So I'll click the, the height channel. And then we'll just find, to search for grunge, and we all know that Painter has a lot of good grunges. So They're we'll just, so good. It's one, one of my favorite things about Painter. So we'll just grab one here. And now um, there's some basic um, things you can play around with balance and contrast here to like clip it if you want. And like you could do this with a levels adjustment as well if you wanted some finer control. But let's say let's do this for this one, just this here. And now this gets put on top. So maybe we want to tile it a little bit, and then you obviously have a very very ruined sweater now. Um, but the cool thing is, um, you can then start to work with this, and then you know do more layers add on top. So for this one, let's say we, we adjust the balance here, but it's not quite what we're looking for. Um, then we can add a levels adjustment to it. Just make sure you go into the height channel. And then from here, we can then start to play around with the height detail that we have here. I really prefer doing like this as well, because now you, you have really fine control of what it is you're doing. Mm. And then let's say this is like the level of detail that you wanted to end up with um, with this layer here but it's, it's a little too much for what you need. Um, go into the specific channel for what you wanna, wanna change, and then we can change the opacity just to up it a little bit or lower it a little bit. The really cool thing is if you hit the C, I, what are these layers called? I can't remember these kinds of... Um, oh, these are channels. Channels layers. Yeah. Uh, hit C until you get to the normal height one so you can see how it affects it, and just hit M again to, to go back. The cool thing is now that we have this sort of basic setup in here, you just hit Control C and Control V, um, and now we have you know we already have everything. We have the grunge map in here that we want, and let's say we wanted to maybe invert this and we 
put down the the balance again something like this maybe and now we get a different kind of look so you can see what kind of look we get there go back into our levels and then we can start adjusting it there you go something like that and then maybe again that's a little too much and you just turn that off and now all of a sudden we're getting some really nice variation um, within our fabric so if we just let's say we turn off these two layers this is our base layer just the fabrics kind of boring you know does the job but then once you start layering these things on top you start getting some really nice and more organic kind of fabrics obviously this is very messed up um, uh, shirt at the moment like it's really crinkled it's never been washed before uh, but that's the nice thing about having the levels and you know adjusting your opacity as well another really cool one we just wanted to show off uh, specifically for fabrics here is going to be <laughs> the crystal one uh, crystal 2 specifically super fancy one <laughs> yeah. so again let's just make a new fill layer and maybe let's actually turn off all the other detail layers just to illustrate this and then we'll just drag this into our height channel again and immediately you can see something happened like it actually it applies this kind of striation to your um to your maps uh, the problem is right now for the, especially for the crystal one it's going to be vertical when you're just dragging it in because of my uh, uvs if your uvs are laid out differently it's going to be different so we'll just right rotate this like 90 degree ish so now it goes across and with the crystal one there's some noise parameters that come built into it i think it's a designer material so that's probably why and then you can just up the scale and then you get you know some more obviously not very subtle variation at the moment but this adds that crinkled feel and like before you could go in and then just adjust your opacity if you wanted it to be less and then you go in and you would turn on your other layers as well and just see that it adds just a little bit of extra undulation to uh, to your fabrics just to make them more just a little more believable yeah and by by default if you just take it out of marvelous designer first off it's not going to look very believable because you don't really have like the, the pattern to it but then if you use the fit normals fabrics on top it's going to look a lot better but it's still not there you still need the variation on top because yeah. then if you just use the default one then it's going to look like it's the straight out of the factory but most most things wouldn't look like that and then by really adding the, the last uh, bit as well, the crystals, you're just getting less more like mid to high frequency breakup to it, yeah. which just really makes makes it come to life as well. Yeah, and you know, you could always go in here as well um, and then go adjust this as well to really amp it up if you wanted some really sharp highlights or like some sh sharp creases rather. Um, if you wanted to flatten it out, always play around with that a little bit. So there's there's a lot of opportunity for sort of uh, procedurally adding details to your fabric so you don't necessarily have to worry about doing this all in your sculpt like i would never recommend doing all this in your sculpt anyway no. just because it would take too much time uh, but you can see even without even if we leave out the fabrics we still get a lot of really nice detail yeah. and shot by shotgun or something <laughs> <laughs> like uh, a salt shotgun yeah so maybe for that one you know you probably lower the opacity even more you know something like that just so it's it, it's more subtle you can also turn this into a smart material as well. You can group it, turn it into smart material, and then you can use to use this for a bunch of different fabrics. Let's say you're doing a game and you have you have uh, 30, 30 t-shirts or sweaters or whatever. You could easily make a smart material like this and then just reuse it as much as you can. Yeah, so right now we only have um, the the fabric 20 from the flip normals fabrics loaded in but because everything's procedural and it's on fill layers all i would have to do import a new normal map simply drag it into this um, normal slot here and that would change it out already has the tiling it has everything you need and the cool thing is for something like this you know then you could go in and you could ask you could add a, a mask to it um and then you could go and you could start painting this out. Maybe you only wanted this kind of pattern on the front. Maybe you wanted a different pattern on the, on the sleeves. Like you can see up here, the UVs aren't optimal up here for maybe this kind of uh, piece of fabric. So maybe you would have something different going on um, on the collar. There could also be some some damage. Let's say you somebody uh, you have a game and somebody's being shot a lot, and now you can modulate the damage of being shot with a mask. So you can just have two different smart materials, one with the damage, one without, and you can just mask it in and out very easily. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I love I love the crystal layer here just because it adds 
I mean, a lot of power, a uh, lot of responsibility, all that, <laughs> all that. But uh, it's really cool to add some super quick variation to it. Um, and the cool thing about all these uh, channels here is that you can always go and you can invert them. Um, so you get that uh, immediately that just changes the feel of it. So I think that ju just about covers um, this little quick how to detail your fabrics and substance video. Yeah, really nice. And then if you want to check out our uh, fabrics pack as well, we're of course leaving a link in the description for that, which mm. we highly recommend that you check out if you're doing fabrics. It will really save you so much time yeah. <laughs> because they're properly 3D generated patterns and you can drag and, drag and drop them onto basically any, any kind of uh, fabric you want and it's going to look awesome right away. Yeah, so uh, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to leave a long a comment down below, like and subscribe and turn on notifications.